Bulls certainly dominant at scrum time in the first half, getting the better of the scrums. They did concede one scrum penalty. But otherwise, in, in the tight, they, they certainly seem to have had an advantage. Cornell Hendricks, scorer of one of the tries after running a beautiful line, claims the second half restart. And we can see a change for the Blue Bulls as well. Looks like Francois Klopper is on at tight head. So Mornay Smith making way at half time for Klopper. Ball allowed to bounce a wild pass away by Sazi Sandy. On the ball. And Vili Engelbrecht never shies away from contact. Set up by Marcel Tiernison. And then the hoist from Cade Volata. Another test under the high ball. Passed with flying colours by David Creel. Clever little chip through from Chris Smith. Good chasing back from Paul DeVette. Got his pass away to Volata and then Blomakis. And here is an opportunity for Suleiman Hartzenberg. Little chip from him. Can't regather. Oh, it looked as though there must have been a knock in there. Not called by the referee. They might come back to this if it goes any further. Devet goes digging in. There's a penalty advantage being shown to DHL Western Province. Bulls not rolling away at the previous tackle. Devet looking for a runner. Finds Volata, but a good defensive read. Devet again and into the corner. I'm happy with the pass. Goes Ruan Nell. So a third try, the perfect way to start the second half for the visiting team. Yeah, wonderful stuff from DHL Western Province. And pretty much similar to the first half, coming from a turnover, taking it wide and then putting it through the phases. Nice patience from Western Province. That was really well done by Paul DeVette. Beating his man one on one and creating the two on one. It was a questionable knock on after the chip and chase. The Hartzenberg chip and chase. Another tough one for Kate Volita. Right from the touchline. So Volata from the right-hand touchline. Wonderful kick. Yeah, lovely stuff. Paul Devet getting ball in all well read by Spoon Corsi on defence. But Paul Devet doing really well to follow up his pass, get around, create the two and one, and Ruan now getting a well-deserved try. Played such a pivotal role in the build up to Kate Volita's try. Engineering a wonderful counter attack from just outside his own 22, Ruan Nell. And now in for his 15th Curry Cup try. He wasn't part of the team that defeated the Fidelity ADT Lions in Johannesburg last weekend, so his first carry cup appearance of the season yeah good exit from western province good take from the kicker from jean-luc duplessis cap is good you can go to mark the target at the front then Elric Lowe cleaning up an untidy ball in that five meter tram line Brick. 
entirely out of the back. Berger. Advantage. Yeah. Looked like Cade Voliter in there, not rolling away quickly enough. Penalty advantage straight out in front on the Western Province 10 meter line. Berger. Beautiful hands from Hendricks. Corsi. Yep, got it. Got him. Yeah, they'll come back for the advantage. Uh, push in the back from Spoon Corsi. Didn't allow him to play a little bit more advantage. Number 10, well, out quicker. That's what Western Province need to do. They need to get those big ball runners running at Kate Volata, trying to get the go forward. Kate Volata just not rolling away quick enough. And the Bulls have gone to the corner with a good kick from Chris Smith. Wonderful to see Spoo and Corsi back in action in the light blue jersey. Got a try in the first half. 16 test matches to his name. The last time he played was against New Zealand in the 2021 Rugby Championship against New Zealand in the Gold Coast. Oh, sack is good! Sack is good! Fair sack called by the referee. As the ball came to ground and Western Province getting the scrum feed. So it's a couple of times now that the Vodacom Bulls have had the opportunity to, to drive off a, a line out close to the Western Province line. The first part of the job well done. Yeah, just not good enough from the lifters actually, the supporters. They needed to be stronger, stay on their feet, fight to stay on your feet. <laughs> I'm saying that was very well sacked by Western Province. Okay, thank you. Connor Evans involved heavily with the sack. Don't push down. Thank you. And this is an important play for Vodacom Bulls. They want to put the pressure on at scrum time, but you don't want to be giving away a penalty and let Western Province get out with the easy meters. Crouch! Bye! Sit! Francois Klopper on this near side, on the tight head for the Vodacom Bulls. Getting the squeeze on Quenzo Glosset. But the penalty is against Sazi Sandy. Yeah. I'm sure they're going to go to the corner, Matty. After the dominant scrum. Oh, they're going to go for a planned move. Ulrich Lowe. Stienekamp and Norkia alongside. They were a decoy carry from Kyle Brick. And then Stienekamp pops up to take the pop from Berger, just a meter short. Again they go over the line, but held up. It's over the goal line. It'll be a goal line dropout. You can't fault the effort on defense. Now the effort was there, that's for sure. And much better Sorry, effort as well from the Vodacom Bulls on attack. Well, it's that man, Ruan Nokia, their captain, and you can't ever question his effort. He's always giving 100%. But look at that, five, six, seven Western Province guys all jumping in there, making sure it's held up. And Kate Volata, happy to kick relatively shallow, Elric Lowe. Almost got away from Suleiman Hartzenberg. Just lost his footing in the process. Berger, Smith, and then Forster. Nudging it through with a grabber. Territory gain, but the Western Province line out throw. Yeah, not a bad option at all from Harold Forster. He's having a good game this evening. Maybe he wanted to just take a little bit off it as Scudder and Tobeni makes his way onto the field. Good fire. So Andre Hichofente getting a good 50 minute shift in. Scudder and Tobeni, who got his only test cap here against Argentina just prior to the Springboks' departure for 
Rugby World Cup in Japan. And the first throw from Ntubeni is short to the front of the line out, just looking to create a platform here. But uh, it has gone awry. Isolated in contact, penalty conceded. Yeah, Post very friendly ball. call that for Skara coming yeah, onto the field. Right. Give him a, er a nice, easy early one to the front of the lineup. But what it does do is put pressure on the next ensuing phases because you've gone right into that trams on the touchline. All the Vodacom Bulls guys That's waiting. Uh, also, just losing his feet a little bit too early. I think it was Marebe. Almost getting pushed into the contact there. Krobala for Mark. Ball goes inside the five meter trams. It is surging forward and over. Try for Johan Krobala. A ninth in his Curry Cup career. Good work. And the peacemaker, Ruanel, <laughs> is in there. Krovala unhappy with something that happened after the try had been awarded. But that's lovely from the Vodacom Bulls. Nice and simple. No movement. Jumper just going straight up. They probably knew that they were going to drive, so there was no competing from Western Province. And once you get that more moving forward, it's pretty hard to stop. And that's probably where the little handbags came in. Hand on the head. So the Vodacom Bulls have a fourth try, a bonus point try. And then a kick from close to left hand touch for Chris Smith. I'm happy that was Christy. Thank you. To take the lead once again. Yeah, well, it could come down to one of these kicks, Matt. It's been a really tight game so far. Both kickers kicking well. Well, Chris Smith loved it the moment he struck it. And he has regained the lead. So conceding that early try, a couple of minutes into the second half, but now hitting back effectively. Yeah, lovely ball to the front of the line-out. This time the supporters stay nice and strong. The rest of the pack is getting behind. And they cruise over. Deep restart, Berger. That's really well done by David Creel. I really am happy to see him at fullback. I think that is his position. Solid under the high ball, got a great boot on him. Been used in all the positions of the back line. So good to see Hachiva Daimani back in action spent some time on the sideline due to injury Kike Morabe had a fabulous first half especially in the build-up to Paul the Vets try that's not straight from Skaron to Benny captain what do you want Scott Lano. Marginal from Skaran Tubeni. This jump is not helping him, jumping a little bit across, which makes it look a bit skewer. The well, Bulls will be enjoying this, they get to scrum again. Do they go for the penalty, Matt, or are they going to try to get this out and down the back line? Well, they've had the better of the scrum contest, that's for sure. It, I've only seen that one really quick heel where Elric Lowe made a quick pick up and worked quite a substantial blind side. Reset, both front rows going up, says Griffin Colby. Yeah, on this loose head side, Blose doing really nicely for Western Province. So through and up 
not up and through, okay? Probably going to get a message from Robbie Kempson any minute now telling me that I got the scrum wrong. <laughs> Did look like he had the pressure on from the engagement. Yeah, Klopper didn't look comfortable, did he? That, that, that Almost was shaking. Yeah, that legs. right leg of his just didn't look stable on the set. Around and in is the call. And going around Western Province. Yeah, that is coming in. Yeah, it looked pretty similar to the one that did collapse. So it probably was a call from Western Province to turn it around. And that's brilliant. Oh, wonderful. From Chris Smith. He was watching yeah, it a little no, anxiously. He needn't have. I feel tight that it's coming in, and then you have to go in around. Yeah, they were probably were looking for a little left shoulder, Western Province, to around. make the Vodacom Bulls only attack on the one side. There's a little bit of a blind jack. You don't want to make sure. Well, you want to make sure you cut out one of the options. You don't want them having two options. Potentially big moment in the game here, yeah, having having regained the lead and having mauled so effectively for the previous try. And they press oh. home the advantage here. Side entry, penalty advantage call against Western Province. Forster was that tackle high. TMO is being asked to have a look. Ruan Nokia. Tackle from Van Rey. For Mark. Berger, Nokia once again. Low tackle from Tiernison. Playing on penalty advantage here. Klopper. Try! Francois Klopper gets a memorable first try in the Curry Cup. They say you'll never forget the first. No, you certainly won't forget that one. And it was great to see Klopper. He actually ran with meaning. A lot of the Vodacom Bulls forwards, they're going to have a look at this tackle. But a lot of the Vodacom Blues forwards are, Bulls forwards are carrying almost to set up the ruck for the next phase. Yeah, Klopper gets the ball in hand. He pumps his legs, stays on his feet, does the twist and gets his touchdown. Really well deserved. Well done, Francois Klopper. And Smith adding an extra two, so suddenly as we approach the final quarter, the lead is eight. Running at complete pace for the big man. It's really hard to stop him from so close. Managed to find the fly off as well. And well done and well deserved for the Vodacom Bulls. Griffin Colby just explaining there that uh, the TMO, Christy Dupria, had had a look at that tackle from Jean-Luc Duplessis. Adjudicating that it was penalty only, so yep. advantage was applied. Ben Jason Dixon on for Connor Evans. Good contest. Hachiva Daimani. Looking to tap the ball back, and Cornell Hendricks stayed true to his task. Blomakis tested by Smith. Glosser. To the short side comes De Vett. Oh, brilliant offload from Jean-Luc Duplessis. Hartzenberg gets it away from Blomakis. That's another magnificent score. That is one tasty offload that yeah. we're going to have to have a look at. Now, the score sheet's going to say Clayton Blomakis, but that try is all down to Jean-Luc Duplessis. There was nothing happening until Jean-Luc Duplessis got his hands on the ball. A miracle ball. Tucks it in. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, Unbelievable. Outrageous. And Hartzenberg with ball in hand, really dangerous, attracts in the two defenders and pretty easy for Blomakis to finish off. Thanks, Christy. 
So, fourth try scored for the visiting team. Just when the Vodacom Bulls had eked out yeah. that eight-point lead. DHL Western Province heading back with their fourth try. And still just over a quarter of the game to go. have seen some wonderful scores here at Loftus this evening. It's been a great entertaining game. And from the touchline, Volata on song. Couple more changes after that conversion. Yeah, well, we're going to be seeing this try a lot more in the recent time. This is going to be on every highlight reel around that is just brilliant from the DHL Western Province. All right. And that man giving up. the try scorer a hug. Paul Devet, who's made his way off, he's had an outstanding game. Yeah, I spent some time off in the first half for a blood injury, and he's now permanently replaced by Godlin Asimla. Also, Imbros Papir, who won seven test caps for South Africa. On its scrum half for Zach Berger. And the similar's kick charged down by Ruan for Mark. Away by Volata. It was well rescued. Tennyson, Blomakis, stepping his way through. No, play on. Blosser. Delis. No release in the He's tackle on BJ Dixon. Tap and go from Godlin Masimla. All right, play advantage. And then Tennyson. Advantage from the side as well. On it. On it. Advantage. He's got an advantage. Penalty advantage, 45 metres out. In the centre of the field, Ruan Nell runs a good line. And then Blosser. That is in the way, get out six. Penalty is against Marco van Staden. Way, and Godlin Masimla once again thinking of the quick tap and go, but realizing this one really is in range. Yeah, that offload has certainly got the DHL Western Province tails up. Just got Masimla. Cool. Yeah. Having a full go after that box kick was charged down. They decided to have a run. Western Province and they've done really nicely it's Marco von Staden trying to get out the way and because of him in the way there not allowing the keenness to get to that stealer so Lee Marvin Mazabuko is on for Sazi Sandy a tight head as well that change was made at the same time that Masimla replaced Devet. I've been impressed with Blosser and Sandy, both crops, especially their handling and getting around the park. Okay. Cool. Cool. So Leon Lyons cool. remains on the bench as a loose head replacement. Cade Volata struck it sweetly and has regained the lead. Sorry, you guys are making a sub to shoot. You're gonna mark a sub. Sorry, you guys are making a sub. Sub. No, they wanted to go quickly, the Varicom Bulls, which is good to see. Because it does seem like Western Province have got all the energy at the moment. So Harold Forster is the man Nine. making way for Stedman Hans. Sub. And uh, another. Substitution being made as well. It's uh, young Bruce Sherwood replacing Jean Luc Duplessis. Hartzenberg rises high to claim the restart. Leon Lyons now has replaced Quinzo Blosse at Lucid. So only Dylan DeLieu remains on the bench for DHL Western Province. Huge kick downfield from Clayton Blomakis. Chris Smith and David Creel giving chase as Volata waits. 
time for him to get his pass away to Blomikis, who skids the ball away. And that is an extraordinary 50-22. Ah, amazing. Unbelievable. He's been really solid this evening, Clayton Blomikis. Especially that very reliable right boot of his. And as soon as he struck it, he said 50-22, sir, to the ref. And that cannot go any closer to the touchline, to the corner flag on the five-yard line. Brilliant from Blomakis. That might just be the, the kick that wins Western Province's game, Matt. I'm not going anywhere near that as a prediction <laughs> right now. There's too much time left. This lead has changed hands so many times. Contest on the throw to Ernst van Rijn. And Krobala quickly through. He's got it. Turnover made. Papier away to Van Staden. Darmani in with a tackle and quick to bounce. Smith. Wonderful clearance from Chris Smith. So that little mini crisis averted. Yeah, that's really, really well done from the Vodacom Bulls. Western Province with a brilliant kick into the corner, tails up. And they managed to smother them, steal the line out, and a brilliant kick from Chris Smith as well, taking play all the way up to halfway line. Let's go, Western Province. Scarum to Benny. Shortened line out again. There's a contest on the throw to Ernst van Rijn from Ruan for Mark. All brought down by his own player. Krobala desperately trying to get in and affect the steal. It's not in his own half, so it can't be a 52. Just cleaned off it in time. Bit of a scuffle between the two hookers there. Krobala. And into Benny, lost forward by Sabu and Corsi, regained by Ernst van Rijn. Knock on, off the foot there, knock on there. So there will be a scrum with a new look front row for the visiting side for this knock on. Knock on. Yeah, I actually had plenty of time. Sabu and Corsi needed his teammates to be talking to him. He was keeping his eyes on the ball like every good winger should be doing. There's Matanzima, he's on for Stian Cup. A lot of tired bodies out there, so good time for the coaches to be making these changes. Bruce Sherwood made his uh, Curry Cup debut, former South African schools player. Debut in the Curry Cup last week. Be careful when this kicks. I'm with a much longer mop of hair than is this week. <laughs> I think he might have got a bit of a ribbing. Ort got pulled in one of the rights. Coach! Bye! Sit! Solid from the province pack and little grabber through off the boot of Kate Volata. Good read from David Creel. Nell had hung back. And quickly into his stride on the counter. Masimla. Dixon popped it on for Van Rijn, who lost it forward in the tackle. Just a knock on advantage. Smith skips Hendricks for Creel. And Sherwood down to secure the ball. Does well. Hartzenberg. No room to move in there, but still. Decent strength from Suleiman Hartzenberg. A little fumble juggle from Dixon, who managed to hang on. Volata. But they're onside. Ball popped up. And Diamani. And uh, Matanzima conceding a penalty advantage straight out in front. Free play for Volata. Got it off quicker. You're in the way, 17, slowing down the ball. 
Yeah, we saw it earlier. When Welcome Bulls were on attack. DHL Western Prom is not rolling away quick enough. Yeah. And this time it's Matanzima. What are you doing? Too slow yeah. to get out the way. Poles. And no surprise. Western Province going for poles. Well, Cade Volata, 19 points last week, which in the, in the game in Johannesburg against the Lions, he got 20 already this evening, 15 off the boot, plus one of the four tries. To uh, stretch the lead out to five. He had a simple one early on in the game. His first penalty kick of the game was straight out in front. He hasn't had many more from this position. Yeah, I was about to say you can make it 23, Matt, but I didn't yeah. want to put the commentator's curse on him. Kicked really, really nicely. Blomakis. Sherwood takes the tackle from... Stedman Hans. For Mark is looking to apply pressure on the kick from Godlin Masimla. Creel got the ball in a tackler at the same time. Nokia. Papier. Jinking little run from the scrum off, but now. Robola had to fill in in the scrum half position. Ball is available. Papier back on his feet. Advantage offside. Offside call against DHL Western Province. Papier. Robola. Dixon went low. Smith. Hans. There's no advantage. Screen two offside. Yeah, it's. Thank you. Eventually got Masimla for offside. The, thought the phase before he was also a little bit offside, one or two meters. So really pushing the envelope. Western Province Let's on defence. For the for the clear and obvious now, James. Last ten minutes. Last nine minutes. Now to the line they go again. Another good kick from Chris Smith. It doesn't look like he's striking them that well, but they're going in the right place, Matt. Also had a solid evening of the kicking tee. Only one loss from each of them. And still Mornay Stein and Bismarck Duplessis, the two most experienced men on the Vodacom Bulls side, remain on the bench. Ones backwards! Province taking the Bulls more backwards for the first call. That looks like a potential side entry from Hachiva Daimani. It appeared away for Stedman Hans. Wants men around the corner. He has Matanzima as a target. Another pop, this time for Klopper. And, uh, well, a crucial interception made by Juan de Jong. Couldn't see where he came from. He came flying back towards his own line to make that critical interception. No, Clearance made. Yeah, brilliant from Western Province. The old campaigner, Juan de Jong. I haven't seen too much of him this evening, but he's one of those players that do do all the hard graft. And he certainly did do a little bit of hard graft. Attempt to charge down in this situation great tackle from Volata and in came Juan de Jong from nowhere watch them all Van Staden running hard off the back of the Vodacom Bulls line out 
Again, they bring runners around the corner. Krobelar the first. Then Klopper. Matanzima out the back for Smith. And, well, Marco van Staden in his path. It's, it's an accidental obstruction, so it's just a scrum. Yeah, I can just see the frustration. Didn't have too many options. Chris Smith, and when he wanted to take the ball on himself, he had one of his own players in front of him. So, Johan Kobala makes way for Bismarck Duplessis. Also, not part of the Vodacom Bulls squad last weekend. What a resource to be able to call on off your bench. 79 Amazing. test matches for South Africa. Just keeps going and going. And so, too, Mornay Stein. Okay. He's still yeah, sitting cross legged on the bench. I was going to say, it wouldn't right, be a go. bad option to get him Mark on Jones. in case there is a try. And that would be the kick to the maybe so seal start. the game. But in saying that, there's been nothing wrong with Chris Smith's goal kicking this yep. evening. What off? Let's go, Western Province. Let's go. Now four conversions off the boot of Chris Smith, five tries. Scored. That's it. Four tries scored by DHL Western Province, but four penalties from the boot of Kay Voliter. As promised, new hooker. I'll remind you of the break foot, okay? Keep that. Keep. I'm just reminding you. Don't make excuses, but I'm reminding you, please. Have the break foot. Time is off. Let's go, let's go. We've got to get the setup right before we can go. Time is off. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Clear break foots. Yep. This is Well, it's Western Province getting Keep it up. the benefit of the down. penalty this Lose time. It. One, two, three, just going down. Keep it up. And the referee indicating it's the whole front row at fault <laughs> in taking that scrum down. Yeah, if you're not too sure, I think blame it on the whole front row. Thank you. From this side, it, it certainly You've did look like it was anchor. maybe Matanzima side on the loose head. It seemed to go down first. Might have been a call from the touch judge. Your knees on the ground first. It appeared from the Vodacom no. Bulls from that replay. No, no, there was. I'm happy with that. What's up? You guys are making a sub. So Janko Swanepoel is on now and is at the front the five. of the Vodacom Bulls line now trying to contest the throw to Ernst van Rijn. Stay there, stay there. Once! I can go. Stay there, I stay can there. Go. Maul stopped once and very tight to the right-hand touchline. Masimla goes to the air. Don't teach not one. And lost forward by the Vodacom Bulls. Regathered you're holding him in, you're holding him by in, Western holding Province. Him. Masimla no, for van Rijn. Clean out comes in just in time. Tierlison go goes low. Oh, a little dummy kick from Volata. Masimla imploring the referee for an advantage, which he gets. Blomakis. Taken low by Norkia. 
Masimla kicks in. Just check if there was arms, Christy, number 23, blue. Another request for the TMO to check a tackle. Another advantage for slowing the ball down. Away by Masimla. And Hartzenberg, never brought down by a Bulls player. Daimani Tennyson. Duplessis in over the ball. Captain, all right, go on. He's got a couple uh, advantages against you now. It was one not losing the ball, you're not rolling away, and the tackler assist here. She's going off ground, scooping the ball back. That is a general warning now, okay? Thank you. And 23, 23, no arms tackle. That's a general warning. We're not going to discuss Western Province stuff now, okay? Sort your team out. Yeah. You've got, you've got a couple advantages here. One year. Okay. Tackle assist. So a number of penalty Going advantages a brings a warning and well, I think there was an attempt at, at a wrap there from Stedman Hans. His arms were just taken out by okay. the force of BJ Dixon. But now Cade Volita yeah, will yeah. take every second available to him. Just check the shot clock, please. 30 seconds, we've got 30 seconds left. So he's just called that he's got 30 seconds, but... Just tell me, Christy, when there's 10 seconds. The stadium clock shows that there are just about two and a half minutes. 15, 15. Left to play. And Volita puts over a fifth penalty City kick. Sort that out. And critically opens up an eight point lead. Thanks. Another substitution made. Dylan DeLieu, the final one. Western Province Craven Week player and also captained. Western Province under 20 side Dylan Deleu made his debut for the senior Curry Cup side last week and now getting a second Curry Cup cap. Yet another hoist from Masimla. Creel Sherwood got his arms around the ball in the tackle. Papir Norkia. Awkward one for Chris Smith, who was caught unawares. He's trying to arrange the players outside him. Papier. Timing is good, timing is good. Masimla. Timing is run well, says the referee. Balls out. Swanapool. Smith. Hans. Some wonderful stepping from Stedman Hans. Strong work from Matanzima on the deck. Creel cut down by Ben Jason Dixon. Papir Matanzima. Inside the final minute at Loftus. Smith. Wonderful offload. And the tackle back on via Jürgen Kampf had to be made. Smith, Klopper Play with on. the offload. Norkia, Papir, and Norkia once again. Blomakis managing to dislodge the ball in the tackle on a scrum advantage. Ruanel. And it's over. Is that time? And the clearance that... kick is made. Time is up on the stadium clock, and referee Griffin Colby just getting the check from the timekeeper at the desk, who confirms that time is up. And with that final penalty, the fifth from the boot of K. Bolita. Western Province victorious by eight points. The standout player of the match 
voted by Super Sports commentary team, the fullback for DHL Western Province, Clayton Blomakis, one of the try scorers. They scored four in total to earn a bonus point and a wonderful kicking performance from Cade Volater. Five penalties and three conversions from the boot of the Western Province fly half. He added a try to that as well. So 23 points in total. Beg your pardon, 26 points from Cade Volater with that try. And he did punish the Vodacom Bulls with his boot from the kicking tee. It was an effective line-out performance from the Vodacom Bulls, but they did have a couple of opportunities down in Western Province's 22 at line-out time, which they weren't able to convert into tries. Western Province's defense tested at times close to their line. They showed a lot of heart. And their tight five really showed up. They did concede a number of scrum penalties in the first half, DHL Western Province, but largely stood up to the threat of a, a more experienced pack. And confirmation that along with the Pumas, Western Province have opened their Curry Cup campaign with back-to-back -back bonus point wins. Both of those coming away from home for DHL Western Province in Johannesburg against the Lions last week and now following up with a bonus point away win against the Bulls. That one point for the Vodacom Bulls by virtue of their five tries scored here at Loftus this evening. They take on the Cheetahs away from home next Friday. DHL Western Province take on the Sharks in Durban. But Butch James is standing by with the captains. Well, Ruan, first of all, thanks so much for a really entertaining game. But from your guys' side, unfortunately, on the wrong end of the result. Yeah, thanks, Butch. Um, yeah, obviously, uh, Caddy Cup is always a, a special tournament to, to play in and be a part of. Um, but yeah, very disappointed. Um, obviously, it's, 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 it's not been a good couple of weeks for us. Um, credit to, credit to, the, to the Western Province. Um, obviously, they're doing something right. Um, and uh, yeah, you can, you can just give credit from them. They capitalize on all our on our, all, all our mistakes. You mentioned the Curry Cup being a special competition. It's also a long season. You've, you've gone naught from two so far, but it is a long season and, and a lot still to make up. Yeah, I know, definitely. Um, competitions are not won on the, on the first games of the season. Um, but yeah, I think uh, we can obviously, we know we can be much better than we, we've been the last month or two um, so yeah it's, uh, I think it's just disappoint disappointing and, and obviously disappointing to our fans for 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 us uh, not uh, giving them results well heads up you certainly do lead from the front and good luck for the rest of the season thanks Butch. and I'll now bring in the the winning captain Ernst van Rijn Ernst tell me how proud you are of your boys a, a young group of boys one or two senior guys but coming here to Loftus playing against a really experienced team in the Vodacom Blue Bulls. How are you guys feeling right now? No, I think we, we're quite happy with that win. I think it'll be a special one. Some of the boys will remember forever. Um, but I think all in all, it's just a testament to credit to all the coaching staff, uh, the whole union, all the players. Some of these guys have been training for months without any rugby. Um, but the system is there. Uh, the will to play and to play for each other is there. And I think it showed tonight. Yeah, it certainly is showing. With regards to tonight's game, where did you guys feel that you had the upper hand and maybe that what got you over the line to win tonight? I think uh, we backed our defence, um, so playing rugby in the right areas. Um, I think the once or twice we let them in was when we couldn't get out our, our own half, um, be that discipline or poor exit. Um, and that gave them opportunities and put us under pressure. Um, but I think once we got the kicking game right, um, let them run from deep and back our defence and work on that, um, then I think we, we slowly but surely got the upper hand, especially towards the end of the second half. Well, well done on a brilliant win tonight and good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks very much. Eh? Cheers.